www.ChargingDevices.com. Today we're going to examine six charging devices uh, to see how much uh, wattage they can put into my uh, uh, completely depleted or nearly completely depleted iPhone 7 Plus. Um, and so we're going to start with uh, three uh, wall charging devices and we'll do three car charging devices. I have an iPhone, iPhone uh, 5 watt charger, an iPad 12 watt charger, a uh, RAV Power uh, 24 watt iSmart uh, wall charger. I have a PowerGen charger that has both uh, Apple and non-Apple uh, ports on it. Uh, it's a 24 watt charger. I have a 24 watt Anchor IQ charger uh, Power Drive 2. And then I have an Anchor uh, 42 watt um, Quick Charge 3.0 and um, uh, IQ charger. Uh, it's a Power Drive Plus with Quick Charge 3.0, um, so we'll try that one as well. Uh, so let's get things started. First we'll do the um, Apple 5 watt charger. Uh, get that set up, clear these out of the way so we can see what we've got here. Just with my pedal generator, and this is uh, plugged into a uh, power inverter that's uh, plugged into my pedal generator. Uh, so looking at the uh, 5 watt Apple charger, looks like we're getting about 4.7, 4.8 watts going into the uh, iPhone 7 Plus. Let's switch to the uh, Apple 12 watt charger. Looks like the Apple uh, 12 watt charger is uh, settling in at about uh, just around 10 watts. Um, it bounces up to 10.3 watts, 10.2. Um, uh, but then it drops below 10 uh, here and there. So, yep, there it is again. So it's bouncing between about 9.8 and 10.3 watts. And what's also interesting is um, I'd read that the iPhone 7 Plus would only take about uh, 8.5 watts. And uh, uh, we're proving out here that uh, that's not the case. It takes, uh, looks like it maxes out at about 10 watts or a little over 10. All right, let's switch over to the iSmart uh, RAV Power uh, wall charger. Let's see what it gets. So there's two ports on this, so we'll try the bottom port first. Looks like that's jumping right in at 9.9, .9, up to 10.2. Also seems to be fluctuating between uh, 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 high nines and low tens. Uh, seems to be settling in at about 10, 10.1. All right, let's give it a whirl on the other port on the uh, Rav Power iSmart charger. Seems to be right steady at about 10 watts. So now we'll switch over to the uh, PowerGen dual port uh, car charger. It has a, an Apple port and a non-Apple port on it. Uh, so let's start with the uh, non-Apple port. <laughs> and that's uh, kicking out a whopping 2.3 watts, uh, but it is the non-Apple port, so let's uh, just try the Apple port to see how that does. Much better. So the Apple port is kicking out about 9.7 watts or so. Looks like it's settling right in at 9.62 or 9.69. So not bad. Not bad. It's a fairly inexpensive uh, uh, car charger, uh, so it's a, it's a reasonable uh, output for that going into the iPhone 7 Plus. All right, so now let's switch over to the Anchor 24 watt Power Drive 2 IQ uh, car charger. We'll start at the bottom port. Uh, 
It's kicking out a respectable 9.7, almost 9.8 watts. Oh, dropping down to 9.6. Yeah, it's like between 9.7 and 9.6 watts on the uh, lower port. Let's try the upper port. Yeah, it looks like it's settling in as well at, at uh, between 9 point, oh, it's bouncing around a little bit, 9.9, 9.5, 9 9.6. So again, probably in the 9.7 range, probably it'll settle in too. All right, let's switch over to the Anchor 42 watt um, quick drive, oh, sorry, uh, quick charge 3.0. It has two ports on it. It has a uh, Quick Charge 3.0 port and it has an IQ port uh, similar to the uh, 24 watt uh, anchor. So we'll try the uh, Quick Charge port first. Yeah, so Quick Charge is not a feature of iPhone. Uh, phones at the current time and so we're getting a, a charge similar to the uh, iPhone 5 watt uh, wall charger at 4.7 watts it looks like on the not on the quick charge port let's switch over to the IQ port on the anchor 42 watt car charger And we're cranking out uh, 10.26. Pretty steady, it looks like. Let me uh, just let it settle for a minute and see what it what it uh, settles down to. Looks like we're getting a steady 10.26. Uh, with a, it drops to 10.18, but seems like it's uh, holding pretty steady at 10.26 uh, watts, uh, which I think puts us at the top of the mark for. Uh, all the chargers that we had uh, tested today. Thanks for watching. This is Gene from jeansgreenmachine.com. Uh, this has been a review of several uh, wall chargers and car chargers uh, putting wattage into the uh, iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, looks like the winner we have for today is the Anchor 42 watt uh, uh, Quick Charge 3.0 charger, not on the Quick Charge 3.0 port. <laughs> uh, Check out my website, jeansgreenmachine.com, for uh, more articles and uh, reviews and how to build a pedal generator. Thanks for watching.